I think we need to do something about the power. All right. Check out this map. This one is called, I think it's Halder Totem. And I've already played it. Spoiler alert. This map reminds me a lot of a very old custom zombie map from World of War. I believe it was called Verrucht Mansion. And honestly, I have not been able to find that map on World of War. It was literally 15 years ago is when that map probably came out. And I have not been able to find the original to compare it, but this map reminds me a lot of it. I've seen it played. And I've already played this map myself. And there's no Bible ending, there's no Easter egg. So what I've decided to do today is... Essentially, I discovered a little strategy that might potentially be able to carry me to round 100 and beyond. And I figured, well, why not try it and see if I could actually, <laughs> actually go to a round 100. On the most random, but yet pretty well put together zombie maps I've seen in a little bit so we'll see <laughs> we'll see how bad this train wreck goes so uh we'll see you in about 14 hours just kidding we're not gonna skip to the end if I even make it that far right now I need to focus on stabbing zombies I need points and preferably not dying what if I should buy there is a park limit, unfortunately. Very, very sad reality of this map. There is a park limit. But that is how old school zombies was. And that's what this map is very similar to. Is old school. There's no Easter eggs. There's no craziness. There is you, zombies, handful of guns, perks, and a billion and 105 doors, it seems like. Zombies are actually kind of mild right now. And yes, this is going to be a map that has not had a video on my channel before because, well, I was working on other things at the time this map actually came out, so figured I'd come back and give it a try now. For an actual video. So it's not like, oh wow, this is cool, oh wow, this is here, this is more like a... Uh, I know what I'm doing, I know where I'm going. It's only round four. There is dog rounds. That also will make getting to a potential round 100 or however far I feel like going a lot easier. It's like a, you know, free space kind of round. Easy, it goes by really quick compared to like round 50 plus rounds you normally do. The other unfortunate thing about this map, um, it's going to depend on my box luck. And, well, if you've watched any of my videos and me play games, my luck is very unreliable. It can be really good or it can be extremely just like, how the heck does that even happen? Taste communist aggression. Now he's a sprinter. Now we must sprint to the end. Which, if I remember, this way. Um, the Gewehr has to go. Honestly, I'd rather keep the 1911 for points. I am speeding through the map. I am sorry if anybody's trying to pay attention to what's going on. But I've got places to be, things to do. A little bit of slide boosting in. Oh, wait a minute. I don't have enough points. Oh, shoot. All right, zombie, come here. I, I need to mildly beat you. All right, what is this one? <laughs> Wait, can get points. There we go. All right, we got him off. Time for electricity. This map also lights up when you uh, turn the power on too, which is pretty awesome. Not really a lot of maps that do that. I mean, there is some, but most of them don't bother with it. This map also is very ambient-based. There's a lot of ambience going on, just noises, sounds, little bits of debris, and 
details added around. Right. Gotta run away from them guys. Oh, duh. <laughs> Ran out of pistol ammo. Also have a nasty cough trying to avoid. Back to the 1911. Try to farm points and not get killed. They do spawn about everywhere on this map. Spawning is very well balanced, I will say. I don't leave. Why am I always needing more ammo? Just because I have to open at least one more door. Which I will get back up and see how much it is. I don't remember off the top of my head. I want to say it's like a thousand. Which, if it is, I might have enough. But if it's 1250, it probably don't. And. Oh, it's only 750. Yeah, buddy. Some free points. Buy my jug. Find the zombie whenever he shows his face. So this map's not exactly a remake of that Verruckt Mansion map from World of War I was talking about. It's, it's inspired by it, I believe. Or it's a very closely looking map to it. It's got a lot of elements that are the same, but it's not exactly the same. Where's this zombie at? It's a dog ground, sweet. Bring on the puppies. No soul for you. Why am I so heavy now? The bar now? is eighteen hundred, but this is a good version of it. It's not like the World of War version where it's slow and weak. It's actually really good, especially upgraded. Kind of my go-to on this map. A couple times I've played it so far. This map does a very interesting job of limiting the number of oh, areas good. that you can I don't like have to do anything. circle strategy in. So it's very similar to old school zombies where you just basically had to hold down a position or have several people defending an area or surviving on their own. Usually don't like a death machine, but I need to kill a bunch of zombies pants. quickly. Load and we'll grab that. Uh, actually, I think I can go get double tap. I know where it is at, and I believe I only have to open one door. Through this door should be double tap. Yes. Probably won't need that later in the game. Uh, my cap you know, is not double, gonna fall but off not my quickly, rock. But Okay, where I'm going, I won't be needing bullet weapons. I just need to be able to fire. Might just chill out here for a little bit now. Make life easy on me. And I need to get speed coal eventually. Which... Uh, now I remember where it's at. Oh, it's downstairs. I just remembered. Okay. One door to open to speed coal, and then I need to find the box, because that is an integral part of this, uh, getting to round 100 part. Oh, hello. <laughs> I didn't even see that guy there. Alright. Speed cola time. So, run down here, and I believe... That's this one right here, I think. There it is. Grab a free points, grab my speed cola. Link this teleporter. Because this is how you get to pack a bunch. And now it is time to hunt for the mystery box. This is not going to be fun. Because I have no idea where all it can spawn. So it's not here. That is unfortunate. I think I have to open this door up here. So I have to only open certain doors to make this strategy work also. So this... I can open this one. And I can open this one. Alright, so I gotta have this open because I can buy ammo there. But... Let's see, is the box here? No. Spoiler alert, I'll be spending a lot of time in this area. And I need a lot of time. Hmm. 
trying to think where else I could open that there might be a box location. There's no map, there's no indicator of where it may be, it's just, oh, it's here if it's here. I don't know if the box is there or not. Jeez, I'm blind. Alright, well, it's right here, so I think I can probably chill out right here. Don't need to open that door, because I can get to the other side of it from that other area. I don't think they drop from the ceiling either, so actually I could probably chill out here for a good little while, honestly. Not sure what I want to do for my fourth perk, though. Because honestly, there's not a lot of perk options. But there are some interesting ones besides like, the uh, classic the capitalist dogs, give me ammo. Fun fact, this gun is off the wall, where I'm going to be spending a lot of time at, so it's kind of bad if you can't do it. Even with double tap. It, it's not real. It does not hold up. Vodka. Vodka. Hello, zombies! I am coming for you! Alright. Just what the doctor box. ordered. See, there's a thunder gun in there. That is not a thunder gun, you dumb box. That pretty sure if I get that, I can absolutely breeze my way to round 100. Alright, more box spinning. More bullets, more drinks. This is not so bad. I like the FG42, although I don't like that it's got a 20 round mag instead. Ooh. This is that, nice that's and light. Hard to beat. <laughs> that's, that's a hard one to beat. Except oh, that. look at how shiny she is. <laughs> All right, we might just hold off on the box spending for a little bit. Because I'm going to need to build ridiculous amounts of points. I drink to the nuclear bomb. Right, I'm gonna run over here real quick while oh, that's doing its thing. Because the idea behind this strategy right now is that the zombies will literally only spawn these two windows if I stay in this area. And there's also a trap, and there's also an ammo machine for all guns. Easily and readily accessible. Starting to see what's uh, broken about this. <laughs> it's fun, but um, unfortunately and very... Like, unfortunately, it's broken. It can let you sail to extremely high rounds. Probably a lot easier than... Uh, the map maker would have liked it. <laughs> you know what? I might just buy the garage and never need it though, hopefully. At some point though, we'll have to pack Hunchy's weapons, but I'll just build an absolute ton of points first. Oh, dog ground. Sweet. Bring on the puppets. Come, Suka. Sweet. Dude, the ambience in this map is is what is lacking in all of the recent zombie maps. Like no joke is ambience and atmosphere. Without it, zombies is not zombies. It's just shooting things that want to punch you. <laughs> oh, you no. bad. That was bad. That could have been really bad. That's the only thing about the death machine I don't like. It is the old school slow draw animation. Which uh, can get you killed. Very, very easy. Quickly, I'm surrounded! 
don't know why this MG42 is actually destroying them right now. I'll go another couple rounds. I've got an entire PPSH full of ammo still, which might want to see if it even kills them still. Alright, PPSH doing good. I made a very big mess. I would love that death machine, but honestly, might get me killed trying to get it. You see what happens when you touch the guy? That oh, you're kidding me, right? Two hours later. All right, and I'm, I'm back. I don't know why that they are killing the zombies really well, but foes. anyways, I'm back. I got the gun. I got MG. I got monkeys. I will insert the clip of the legitimately. So, question. This is a great power. I did backward revive for the retry. So last time doesn't happen again. And boy, trucking to uh, continue. I shall continue. Any more? All right, you're the last one. So. Probably time I pack a punch the MG42. Well, you know what? We'll just do a double pack a punch. Because honestly, the Thunder Gun's ammo capacity is kind of a uh, kind of weak. And away to pack a punch we go. And that's the guy kills him. Oh well. All right, pack a punch. May the weapon be blessed by the consequences. We are near. Patience is a virtue of the honorable. I will honor this machine by slaying many. Go that way, zombies. All right, MG time. There is no victory, only death. Let's go ahead and throw on them. Get ready to grab oh, that. Blessings come from above. Oh, it's all around. Never mind. Your strike was oh, weak. Also, I got the Bowie knife this time too, just in case it might actually help. No, I kill you. The tide tips in our favor. I have finished the energy from Actually, a one shot still, even on round one. That is impressive. Alright, round 25. Numerically, we're a quarter of the way there. And this dog. Here's the beast! Free round. Die, demon spawn! What is a fire sale? I am possessed by the power of the Emperor! Spirits come to aid us! And there is round uh, 30. I will not stop. I will all destroy! To the box! She 
内。Spawn! Not on this day, tormented soul! Halfway there in the rounds, and uh, I think shooting them is not really too effective anymore. They are uh, they're kind of walking through bullets like it's nothing. Tips in our favor. All right, I think from this point on, I'm gonna have to start killing exclusively with the trap and thunder gun. The MG42 is probably just gonna be my point builder, although I think I have enough points to probably ride this out to around 100. <coughs> so, yeah. <laughs> You have been vanquished! You will feel the power in my veins! If we move quickly, we will be rewarded! There is no victory, only death! Round 60. You will be destroyed! You kill me? No! I kill you! I tips in our favor. Alrighty, and we're on to round number seventy. Have a grenade, zombies. I will not stop until you are all destroyed. Fire fail. To the box. Return to darkness! <laughs> Even monkeys fall from trees. This is it. Oh, this is definitely not good. Oh, bother. I need perks. Oh, 
Sitten no hikereki. A true warrior forges his a true warrior forges his own bread. Any. I'll try a little bit of turn down and see how this uh, works for me. Uh, another revive. You have been vanquished. the end of the round. Alright, turn. Finish off the strivers. Oh, there you go. We're on round 100 already. It's actually only taken about four hours, which is surprising. 14,000 kills later, and we are still going. Go ahead and return to darkness. Finish out this round while I'm at it. 
And since there is no viable ending or anything as such, we'll do one more teleport. And I'll just get out front and uh, end the game. Once we get through this one, uh, don't want to do immature celebrations. Continuance is strength. I shall continue. Oh, end the round. Alrighty, let's go teleport real quick. Normally I don't do round 100s on custom maps, but honestly I like this one so much that I figured why not give it a go. Especially since I found a quasi-busted strategy. Slide fail. Oh. I did not link it. That's a problem. Luckily there's only three left and not like 400 of them. All right, round 100, done. Must be destroyed. Oh, and it's apparently a dog round. Fascinating. I've not actually figured out what happens if I'm down here when a dog round goes on, so uh, I may have broke the map. <laughs> Only 100 rounds later, though. All right, well, I guess we gotta finish the dog round. I'm starting to wonder. Like, they do despawn. So. Oh wait a minute! You know, I do need to do something. I can't do what I was gonna do. All right, there's a trap there. I need to finish those off. Oh, blessings come from above. All right. Game is over, I made it to round 100. This is the viable ending, in case you didn't know. <laughs> Alright, thank you for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one.